Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to keep the mind right here with the breath. Don't let it go leaking out your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body. Don't let it leak out into thoughts of past and future. Because when the mind leaks out like that, then there, it leaves holes behind and other things can leak back in. Things that aggravate more greed, aversion, and delusion. You're trying to make the mind watertight, airtight. In other words, it resists bad influences out from outside, and it has a membrane that keeps bad influences from going out. It's like having a mask. When you put on your mask and going around in, in the course of the day, rem remind yourself it's not just for germs and whatever. It's also a symbol for making sure that your mouth is under control. Because of all the various kinds of restraint that we have to exert, the mouth is a really big one. It's so easy for something to go straight from your th thoughts right out into your speech without any filter. And then you have to think about it afterwards. Say, Was that the right thing to say? And then you start regretting things, a lot of things you said because you didn't filter things. You didn't think about them beforehand. As John Fung used to say, it's a lot better to think about what you're going to say before you say it than having to think about it afterwards. If it's well thought through beforehand and it comes out, there's very little reason for regret. And even if it turns out to be a mistake, you can remind yourself, well, I did my best. It's when you don't do your best, and then you suffer the consequences. That's how, those mistakes are hard to live with. After all, you start, stop admitting them to yourself. And when you don't admit them to yourself, then you can't learn from them. So think before you speak. Make that be what your mask represents. It's not just an issue of germs. It's more of an issue of the germs of the mind. You don't want to get any more greed, aversion, and delusion out in the world than there already is, because there's already an awful lot. All you have to do is look into the internet, and it's nothing but greed, aversion, and delusion, shouting, shouting, shouting in all directions. And this is what people live by. So you don't want to add anything unnecessary. If you want to add anything, add things that are good, just as your mask doesn't keep everything out. It, it lets good air in, lets good air out. So in the same way, let, think of it being a symbol for having some filter on your thoughts and words and deeds, especially on your words, because that'll have an influence back on your thoughts, and that'll have an influence on your deeds. And that way we stop spreading so much greed, aversion, delusion all around.